I was uh, breaking down dud military surplus cartridges for the brass and to see if they could be reloaded and you know pulling the bullets and so forth and putting the uh, bird in stuff in the uh, recycle bin and I come across some cartridges dud cartridges that were loaded with this this is cordite real cordite so if you've ever heard the term cordite used that's what it actually looks like it's not a stick powder it's not a ball powder it's not a flake powder it's actually those little uh, miniature spaghetti noodle looking things you know they're about oh I don't know two millimeter in diameter you know but that's what they look like and they're in that cartridge case in a bundle you know with a uh, with a card wad over the top of them and that's cordite it doesn't burn any different than any other type of military powder but it's I don't know that's what it looks like all right then we we'll see y'all. Uh, I've never been a real big fan of unboxing videos, <clears throat> but, and I watch those guys on, in Canada, on YouTube, that, where they can buy ammunition all the time from, from, uh, you know, from still get ammunition through Cabela's from China and so forth. And they're all the time doing their unboxing videos, and I'm like, you know, there's people out there that like an unboxing video. So I thought, oh, what the heck. I'd, uh... So I stumbled across this uh, box of 303 Brit, and uh, it's, I don't know, it's got a shipping label on it, you know. But anyway, I don't know, actually, to tell you the truth, what's in it, other than 303 ammunition. So, I've decided to do a little unboxing video, and let's just see what's in it. Uh, I think it's sealed. I don't know. Got that little gizmo there. It may have been opened already. I don't know. I have to open it anyway. That's pretty neat. I don't know what that, that comes on there. <laughs> a lot easier. A lot easier to take off than right, there's those. So what we get. Whatever that is is on there pretty good. Alright, let's find something to get that off there. much dealings with 303 rifles much but uh, all right so there's whatever's inside of it there's that looks like one of those rip open cans let's see if we can get that out of there Amazing to me that anybody ever won any battles. Let's tell you the truth, because military ammunition is packed so good. Well, you can get it out. All right, let's see. Huh. This is this is kind of an interesting. It's got, well, I've seen everything now. There. It's a 
big old heavy I don't know if they intended for this container to be used to carry ammunition after it was out of the box or, or what but these liners in there Thanks for sure. If you needed to get a campfire going, you wouldn't have any trouble finding wood to do it with. These. Separate it from the packing if I can. like it was nitroglycerin. Something H52 Mark II TTH 1954 hmm, SA something or other. Okay, so there it is. It appears to have a ripoff top. So we're going to. See if they can rip off. <laughs> Let's see if it won't. Here's the deal. The bullets are flying around. You know, the enemy's doing a grenade assault. And everybody's trying to get the ammo can open. Well. stock screwdriver there <laughs> yeah I figured out why America always wins wars and other countries have a hard time doing it because American ammunition cans are much easier to get into. Get a pole on it here. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Brits are tough. Well, there it is. I got cloth here. Pull that. Not a liner. And it's in cartons. It is in cartons. 32 cartridges. 303 inch. I S A A 
the British proof mark on it there. And all right, <clears throat> let's open one of them. See what it looks like. in look at that isn't that interesting so got that guy and then it's got another individual cartridges there lay that down see how this individual cartridges and it's indeed individual cartridges I was hoping real hard it would be on a Vickers belt, just to tell you the truth, but uh, it's not. It's individual cartridges. One thing about it, they packed this thing to where they didn't want the cartridges to come in contact with each other in transit or storage. So it's got pretty interesting... I've never seen ammunition packed just exactly this way before. You know, they really meant for it to last a long time. There's the purpley looking primer that generally indicates that it's corrosive. And I would go so far as to say that this is probably cordite ammunition. Well, there it is, the old 303 unboxing. Uh, information on the box, I don't know, let's look at that a minute. It says, 288 carton, 303 ball, Mark 7 CTN, ISA and A, and the lot number is RL12552A. And uh, <laughs> and this came from the shipper appears to be Samco Inc. Wherever that is. a pretty tough box. I, don't know. I was really hoping for. So anyway, I have an upcoming gun video on the Bryn gun, which will be out in about a month. And uh, I needed some 303 ammunition. So went out and found me some and I was kind of hoping that it would either be on stripper clips or be in uh, in uh, uh, Vickers belts, but it didn't turn out so. Well, all right then. That's the old British 303 ammunition boxing unboxing video. Hmm. Plenty of kindling. All right then. Y'all have fun. Like, date, share, fire, commentate, and subscribe, and we'll see you when we see you. God bless y'all and have fun. See you now.